We're going to start by quickly creating the um, wire. So I'll go to the top view, F2, just quickly create the wire. So I'm going to go to pen tool, just start from somewhere here, starting from here. How many points you pick doesn't really matter because we are going to change that. So we'll get to this place and click, then escape, and that's it. So right now, we only have this point. So if I get to perspective view F1, you notice that the points are lying on the floor. So what I'll do is I'll just go to this point and move it up. And then try to let these points be inside this place. Another thing I'm going to do is to change the type to piece line and adaptive to uniform. Then I'll select this also and move this up until it gets into this place. So I'm going to bring this out, just let it be exactly at the middle here. So once I'm done with that, the next thing I'm going to do is to try to create um, a spline dynamic on this. So if I right click on this spline and I go to hair tag, so I'm going to see spline dynamics. So I'll click spline dynamics. So for this flow, I want to have interaction with this because if I play this, it falls down like it always do. So I'm going to select the floor, right click on it, go to hair tag, put in hair collider. So if I play, you have this fall down. So that is the first thing. And so the next thing I want to do is I want to stick this to this point and also stick this to this point so that by the time we start moving this part, the interaction of this will work. So what we'll do is we select the point, go to the spline, Select the first point you want to stick to it. So what you notice is this is the this is um um the console. So it's just more like a DVD that I downloaded online on free 3D. So I'm going to put the link in the description so you can just get it. So I downloaded this from free 3D. You could also go there and just search. So here I just made some changes. So I'm going to look for look at the console. This is the console holder. I need to put this. So very important. So once I select this spline, make sure point mode, this point is highlighted. Then I'll right click, go to head tag, constraints. So if I go to constraints, it's asking me to put in what I want to, object that I want to influence. So I'm going to drag this console holder here and set. As soon as I do that, notice this changes. So you have this object right here. So if I come back and play this, you notice this comes, is stuck to that point. So that's what we want. So the next thing is to stick this to this point. So we'll select this and look for, on the pad, we want this holder. So right click again, create another head tag, constraint. So this constraint, we're going to put this hold here and then set. So we now have these two objects set. So I'm going to just create a new object so we can see the flow. So I'll bring this down so we can see this. So if I play, you notice it's stuck, but it's still straight up. The reason why this is straight up is because we only have two points. So we need to um, convert this, subdivide this point. So what we'll do is we, have, we select this and control it, select all, right click, then we'll go to subdivide. So we'll subdivide this into how many points you want. So the number of points subdivided into will be dependent on how smooth the curve is going to be. So you could decide to go high, but mind you, you also have to look at your system's functionality. So let's try and change this to 10 and click this. So this is what we get to have. So what I'm going to do again is to select this first point that has the control holder. I'm going to reselect this because right now you know we've added point, so I know we're going to have this. I'm very sure. So you have to go back and reselect this. I think I could have just done this before 
doing that. So I'll just set that reset that. Come back here, select this, go to the next set. So that set that. So if we play this now, you see this wire false. So the good thing with this is that if I go to the pad and move the pad around, sorry. If I go to this pad and play, I can move this pad around all day long and you see the interaction is smooth. All right, so it's very important. So anyway, you move this pad, you see this cable following it. Okay, so what I can also do is to so play and control Z and move that. So what I can also do is let's assume there is a table in front of this place. I'll just create the table. So I'm done actually. So I'm just doing extra work here. So let's assume this is a table just in front while others are playing. So I will just I want to have this interact with the table. Just right click on this head tag and head collider. If you play, falls there. So if you go to the part. And move it just continues that way. So the other thing I want to show you is that if I to turn this to wire, so all I need to do is just create a sweep object and then another object that I want to sweep this up to. So I'm going to bring this up a little bit and scale this down. There's something I quickly want to show you guys. So if I bring this down here. And make this the first chart of the sweep and this the next we have this if we play this you are going to notice something so you see this cable you are going to have this poking through so we don't want that so instead what i'm going to do is i need to have a tension at this point as it enters here and also as it comes out here i need to have a tension here so how do we solve that tension so what I'm going to do, I'm going to stop this for a moment, go to the spline, then I'm going to select this spline. So at this point on this spline, then right click. So we'll have to be in point mode, select this point, then right click. I'm going, I need to change this interpolation. So we need to change this from B spline to B Z. I think that is what I should have done. Change it to B Z, right click make it soft interpolation so we are going to have this so i need to make sure that this follows this so if i just go to rotate i can rotate this so it just comes this way so that every time i'm moving the part i'm going to have this sharp um still going to have this hard part before it falls down. so i'll do the same thing for this one so if i select these points right click and convert it to soft and Rotate that. So I'm going to have this. So if I turn on this sweep, I could just bring this down a little bit and also increase the size. So we have that. And also for this, I can go to the sweep and go and change the scale. So we'll go to the scale. So this is more like the first point and the last point. So this is the first point. I'm going to scale this point to fit into this hole. So if I scale this point a little bit downward, I can use this to set how I want it to go. So you can see this, you are always going to have this. So for me to correct this jaggedness, I could just put this in a subdivision surface and that will smooth in that. That's just that. So if I come here and play, so this is what I have. So I can move this part all day. So you have this. Okay. So have that. You can just play around all day. So that's how you create your gamepad um, connection between objects where you can move all day and 
the interaction. So notice this is spoken through, this is going through these objects. All that you, all you just need to do is go to the um, project setting, go to the dynamic part of project setting. Then you want to make the collision. You want to add more collision to it, so just collision margin. So let's try to, for instance. And also step per frame. So I'm going to make this 20, 20. So the calculation is going to be a lot longer, but it's more accurate. So you can see that. So you have this. So it, it will not go through the object anymore. It's just that. So this is how to do um, your game part, part cable connection. So if you feel this was helpful, please do give me a like because it helps me in YouTube very game and also if you are new to the, my channel you can subscribe to this because I do tutorials like this every time. So have a wonderful day and God bless you. Bye.